The city of Rockville's mayor and council recently held a public hearing about some proposed amendments to the city's animal control ordinance. Rockville 11's Christine Rice has more. The Rockville mayor and council held a public hearing on the proposed amendments to the city's animal control ordinance on February 9th. The proposed changes include the licensing of cats and ferrets, a trap, neuter, and release program for feral cats, and allowing citizens to keep hens and other livestock as pets. Many of those who testified at the public hearing were favorable to the proposed changes. I think it's better for the animals and I think it's better for the city. It, it gives the city some control over things, but it also protects the animals. Um, so it's a win-win situation. Rita Flagar believes the trap, neuter, and release policy for feral cats is a chance to better the city. She and her husband have trapped, neutered, and released over 100 feral cats in Maryville, Lincoln Park, and surrounding areas. Since having the cats spayed, neutered, and vaccinated, I've heard from a multitude of neighbors that they hear much less yelling with mating and are grateful for not having litter after litter of kittens born under their sheds and porches. Many residents are hoping for the opportunity to house livestock in their yards, including 10-year-old Sophia Zuckman. My mom grew up on a farm, and I, um, we still will visit it a couple times each year. I would really love to have some of the same experiences she had as a kid. Thank you for your time. Go chickens! <laughs> Although many testified in favor of the changes, Brigitte Mulliken is nervous about how the addition of new animals, such as chickens and goats, will affect the reputation of Rockville. I really think that if, if people start having chicken, we will get a terrible reputation. I think it's a very sophisticated city. I've been here for 49 years. I'd like it to stay that way. Councilwoman Julie Polakovich Carr initiated the amendments to the ordinance that would change the city's policies. The county made a number of changes about five years ago uh, to restrict uh, the tethering or tying up of animals. I think it's time that the city catches up in terms of those county regulations and laws to make Rockville a more humane place for animals. The public record will stay open until 5 p.m. on Tuesday, February 24th for comments on the proposed changes. Written testimony can be submitted to mayor and council at rockvillemd.gov. Adoption of the ordinance is tentatively scheduled for April 20th. For more information, call the city clerk's office at 240-314-8280. For County Report This Week, I'm Christine Rice.